is Father Ken Lau and welcome to the new episode of Thankers for the Soul. I have great admiration for Father Don Calloway uh, who wrote uh, several books and one of my favorite books that he wrote is The Consecration to St. Joseph and I've been using that book as I do my St. Joseph uh, videos. And uh, I didn't know uh, the devil appeared uh, to Father Don Calloway. I read this from a Facebook post by Clive Fernandez wherein he was sharing uh, that happened. Uh, something about Father Don Calloway, uh, he is today a well-known American priest and promoter of the devotion to St. Joseph. But several decades ago, before he was a priest and even before he was Catholic, he led a messy life that led him to drugs. At some point after reading a book of Marian apparitions, his slow process of conversion began, which led him first to Catholicism and then to the priesthood. But the devil wasn't willing to let it go so fast. This is what happened to him when he approached Jesus and began to abandon his old life. So in an interview conducted by the Pines of Aquinas program, the priest recounted how the devil tried to prevent him from converting to Catholicism and what he did to defeat him. The devil appeared in his room, but he said this word and disappeared. The priest recounts that in his conversion process, he began to abandon his old practices, and the first thing he did was put an image of Jesus in the room. I got down on my knees and I said, I need you, I think you're real, and I love you. What happened next, I can only call divine detoxification and romance. God flooded my soul with so much mercy that I began to cry. So he stayed in the room all day. When I finally regained all my senses, so to speak, because it was to a totally mystical experience, I got up and lay down on a the couch. Then the priest narrates, something happened that left him terrified to that point that day, 20 years later. He prays that it will never happen to him again. The devil came, he said. A creature appeared in the room and manifested itself as if it had taken a physical form. I was so scared I couldn't even move, like a night paralysis. She was a living creature that claimed me for itself. I was so terrified that I had to close my eyes and I couldn't do anything. The priest says and adds, I think the devil thought I belonged to him. What was you gonna do? Hit him? That would work and still couldn't. I was petrified. Apparently, he did the only thing he had to do. From my soul, I cried, not audibly, in my soul, Maria. And do you know what happened? Wiped out. The demon was completely wiped out. And I experienced the most incredible peace that I've never experienced before. But their mystical experience didn't end there. Suddenly, he heard a voice in his soul. The purest motherly voice spoke to me and said, Donnie, I'm so happy, the priest recounted. Nobody but my mom calls me Donnie. The mother of Jesus, Christ was telling me that she was my mother too. The devil couldn't touch me because I was in Mary's arms. So we see here the power of saying the name of Mary. The, the enemy would flee. So whenever we're being tempted, whenever we're being assaulted by the enemy, just say uh, the name of Mary or say uh, a one hail Mary and you will see how the, the enemy would run away. God bless. The living saint, Jesus Mary Joseph, we trust in you.